Yo, what is going on guys? We are back today for another top five list of the top five tech champions in Marvel Contest of Champions as of 2021 summer. So before we get into the list though, just you know I want to say this is totally my opinion. You know, no one has the exact same experience playing this game. We've all had different crystal pulls, we've all played different characters for different lengths of time, and that is obviously going to affect how we view these characters and I think that's the cool thing about the game because no one has the same experience. We all have a bit of a unique experience because of our crystal pulls and everything like that. And so, you know, no no, no one's going to put all the same characters in the exact same order just because, you know, we all have a different experience. So it's totally cool to disagree. This is my personal opinion. And I base this list off of two main things. One being um, how good I think a champion is based on what I've seen, based on what I've heard, based on their abilities on paper, the potential I think these characters have, and then also on my own personal experience with these hands playing these characters and um, my experience playing them and where, I've, where I find them to be useful and use them the most and that sort of thing. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into the list. This one I feel like is going to be a lot less controversial than some of the other ones. Uh, it's a bit more cut and dry in the tech class, I find, just because um, there's been a lot of the same characters at the top for a while. So coming in at the number five spot, we have Hulkbuster. So Hulkbuster is, uh, is awesome. He got buffed. He was a total meme before, but now he's really cool. Uh, he has a very uh, unique play style which is awesome and it's a really really strong playstyle as well if you can get it going he can get some crazy damage the only thing i don't like about hulkbuster i think the, honestly the biggest thing holding this guy back is is his heavy attack and it's just not his reliance on the heavy attack but it's his range on it like it's just like a straight up uppercut like he needs a bit of a, a bit of a slide like a bit of a reach with the uppercut uh, and if he had that, honestly, that would help him so much um, because sometimes you whiff and then that affects your ability to get them into the, the critical play style to you know, play him to his potential. So yeah, I really just wish his heavy attack had a bit of a slide in it. I wish a lot of characters could have a little bit of a more of a slide in their heavy attack. Uh, but yeah, this guy has some really cool utility, really crazy damage if you play him correctly. And yeah, I think he's just a cool, solid champion. Also, um, with his Awakening ability, which unfortunately I don't have access to, that's why I forgot about it, but uh, you get a massive regeneration, which is awesome, man. I really love that this guy has just such a, a nice safety net to, to heal up a massive amount of health. That's awesome on such a tank-like character. So yeah, I think he makes the number five spot. Uh, coming in at the number four spot, we have my Canadian boy, Guardian. If this was a list for the best-dressed characters in MCFC, he would be number one. But this is a top five best tech champ. So unfortunately, he only comes in at the number four spot. His swag alone can't get him to the top. But yeah, he just look how cool this guy is, man. He's like floating. He's glowing. He's got the red, white for Canada's flag. Like, oh, it's such a good design. Um, sorry. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Guardian, he's just such a beast, man. He's such a tank. With his awakened ability, he does need to be awakened in high sig to get all his tankiness. But as long as Guardian has an arm rip effect, which he always does, you know, naturally, he gains uh, 2,500 block proficiency, uh, 8,000 energy resistance, 70, almost 80% bleed resistance, and some critical damage resistance. So just an absolute tank. That That is so much energy resistance. I think that's the most energy resistance any one base character has in their kit. That is so much energy resistance that you can get like incinerate debuffs on you, you can get cold snap debuffs on you, you can get shock debuffs on you, and you'll actually heal from willpower because of that much energy resistance. Like that is insane. And also that bleed resistance as well, that gives him like four pseudo immunities with willpower, which is crazy. Uh, and that block proficiency is just ridiculous. He, this guy's block is so strong. Not only that, he boosts the entire team's block proficiency by a thousand. For That doesn't uh, count towards himself, but for your entire team, more block proficiency. 
You never say no to more block efficiency. Like, that is such a strong synergy. And he just brings it with himself to any given team. Um, yeah, just, just that tankiness alone makes him so crazy. And then he has even more utility in the fact that he can't crit. Uh, you know, in a lot of scenarios, you actually don't want to be critting. It's cool to do your damage in other ways, aside from big yellow numbers, which this guy can definitely do. He can build up. It, it is very slow, um, but if it was any faster, he would he'd be kind of stupidly overpowered. Uh, it takes a while to build up his damage with the special threes, and then you build them up, and then you just blow them all with the special two and it's really cool to see if you look up some built up guardian gameplay like you'll just see a massive special twos the other problem is they take a while to build up and yeah his real weakness is against uh, opponents that are shocking me because he dealt he deals his non-critical damage uh, as direct shock damage uh so yeah against any character that is uh, shocking me like dr doom he's just not gonna have a good time against but uh, yeah, Guardian, just an absolute tank. So much utility, just so much going on in this guy's kit. Uh, and he's so cool looking. So it makes him the, uh, the number four champion in the tech class. Uh, it's just the next three champions just do even more than him. So I can't justify putting him any higher on the list, unfortunately. So coming in at the number three spot, this is where things might get a, a tad controversial. Uh, we have Warlock. So uh, Warlock... Um, you know, let's just talk about it like this. Warlock is number three, and Guillotine 2099 is number two. Now, these are these two are honestly interchangeable, in my opinion. Um, it really comes down to the individual on which one they think is better. I think that, you know, on average, the average MCOC player that, like, knows a decent amount about the game would say Warlock is better than Guillotine, or put Warlock above Guillotine, which is totally fair. Um, I feel like Warlock is a bit more useful on the day-to-day -day basis. Um, I feel like he's used more day-to-day. -day. But when comparing the two, uh, I, I, I actually use Guillotine more. And I find her to be just, just a tad more useful because of her, her damage potential. She has, I think she has the strongest damage potential in the entire game. If not the strongest, definitely like top five. Um... It is honestly insane. Like, you probably never see your guillotine fully ramped up because, like, nothing survives. Even, like, half her ramp up. Like, it is honestly insane how much damage this character can do. And what I like about her is she's she's a bit more, like, skilled to play. You gotta keep that combo. And if you can keep that combo, you get so rewarded for it. It's honestly insane. But I think they're very comparable characters. You know, they're both robots. They both got that armor up. Uh, they're both just super solid tech champions. You know, Warlock's definitely a better for, you know, like, heal blocking and, and, and anywhere where there's regen to really worry about. You know, Guillotine can, can get around it. She can eventually just out-damage pretty much any kind of regen. But, you know, with dealing with regen, you know, Warlock's definitely the go-to. And he, and he handles it extremely well. Probably better than, like, any other character in the game because his way of countering healing nothing's immune to it the only weakness it has is against like uh characters with a lot of unique buffs that just doesn't last as long but no one's immune to it and it's such a strong healing because it's not like a debuff or anything so you know like it uh, gets like debuff immune like you don't have to worry so i think warlock is, is really insane i think him and guillotine are so close it really comes down to the individual i personally just find myself using guillotine a bit more i did rank three warlock first though and I don't regret it. Uh, honestly, uh, it could change. Like, you could ask me tomorrow, and I might say, oh, Warlock's better than Guillotine. Like, it, it really depends. Uh, they're so close. I, I think I just... I think the thing that pushes Guillotine over the top just, just a tiny bit for me is Incursions. Because I use her in, incur in Incursions, and she's, such, she's so good in there. Whereas Warlock, I have used him in Incursions, and he saved my butt a couple of times. But I only use him for, like, specific fights. Whereas Guillotine, I can use her for, like, almost any fight. And she handles it so well because of that built up 100 hits that you can bring into next fights. And she just clears them so fast. It's honestly insane. I think she's just such a solid, cha solid champion overall. A lot of utility in both. Uh, yeah, but I think both are super solid, man. Such good tech champs. Would rank three both in an instant. Yeah, I think they both both deserve that two and three spot. And honestly, uh, you, can, you, can, you can put them in whatever order you want. Um, they're, they're interchangeable. Honestly, they're interchangeable. Uh, they might as well be a tie.
So, yeah. And then number one tech champion in the entire game, of course, is Stark Enhanced Spider-Man. You know, like, I had this guy. I won Comic-Con with him. He's just such such a beast. You know, I, I, I wouldn't... I literally wouldn't be making YouTube videos about this game today if it wasn't for Stark Enhanced Spider-Man. I wouldn't. Because my channel went from, like, 500 subscribers to 1,000 subscribers overnight when I when I got this guy as a five star like he is what really started my channel he's what made me want to do YouTube full time and then with him we won Comic Con together the first ever Comic Con so this the best tech champion now I'm just kidding I'm not kidding I am kidding but I'm not like all that is true I think Stark Spray is awesome but obviously Ghost is uh is the best uh, tech champion in the entire game it's not even close. Uh, it's it's not even close. She's just she's just a league above every other tech champion, and most other champions in the entire game. Like Ghost, she is so stupidly, ridiculously overpowered, man. Like it's crazy. I, I think I remember at Comic Con, I remember hearing that like the guy that designed Ghost, he made her, and I think like soon after he stopped working at Kabam, and he, but he just made like such. What makes Ghost so crazy is the fact that she just has, like, three champions' abilities all to her own. Like, you could, like, divide up her abilities upon, like, three characters, and you can make, like, three pretty good characters. But instead, Ghost just has all their abilities. Like, it, it it's, it's kind of silly to, to think that one character has this many abilities. And... And she gets even more <laughs> with synergies. Like it's 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 broken, man. It's broken. Um, with the hood, she takes no damage while phasing, so she can she can take take L threes. <laughs> just like if you ever play this game without L threes, it's just it feels so easy. Like like you could just push the opponent to L three, and it doesn't matter. Like there, there's no consequence. Like that's why whenever Kabam makes these characters. Like with something restricted towards the L3, it's not active on defense. You know, like Airwalker, you have to build him up to be able to use a special three. But on defense, you can use a special three. Because if there's no special three, there's like no risk. The fights become so easy. Like in Alliance War, if there was no special threes, like no one would ever die. Like it, you just wouldn't die. Like it, because there'd be no worry. So being able to turn off special threes on like 95% of matchups with 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 hood it is honestly so is that such an insane ability dude and with wasp you know wasp just takes her play style to it makes it easy you know it makes it so much easier when you just dash back drop your special it's unblockable you don't have to worry it'll, it'll connect uh and then with ant-man you know you can just you get more damage even more damage and you're already one of the hardest hitting champs in the game like for burst quick damage um it is honestly insane her awakened ability gives her uh, power so you can get to your special twos super quick and they're guaranteed crits. They're unblockable with Wasp. Boom. So quickly, instant damage. In the ridiculous. Guaranteed crits on the special two as well. So you're good to go. Um, phasing, you can convert any single debuff damage over time into a Fury. <laughs> so you're basically immune to every kind of damage over time debuff so long as you can phase pretty nice um yeah guaranteed crits you can you can crit a hundred percent of the time in any fight <laughs> pretty cool um you can counter evade with your crits <laughs> pretty nice uh you never have to parry you never have to intercept you never have to bait heavies you know you can just phase take a hit in your face boom counter the opponent takes away the core mechanics of the game no biggie you don't know how to parry doesn't there's a parry bug right now <laughs> ghost doesn't care <laughs> Like, I was playing Ghost the other day, and I was like, oh, hey, I don't have to worry about the parry bug now. That's nice. It, 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 it's honestly just just insane. And if you do need more attack, boom, throw a couple of heavy attacks. You can weave them in against the corner, too. Trap the opponent against the wall. Bait a special. Phase the special. Oh, yeah. You don't know how to evade specials? That's okay. You can just phase through them. You can just take them on the phase. It doesn't matter. Oh, and the more hits in the special that you phase, the better, because you'll just gain power with uh, 5% for each missed hit of that special attack. Pretty cool. You know, not bad. And then, yeah, spam some heavies. Boom, get a couple Furies. Drop another unblockable special, too. Guaranteed crits. Nice. You want to make this character even more broken? 
throw in a tech boost, and you can just cycle special twos infinitely. It, it's honestly ridiculous how broken Ghost is, man. I love it. I love it. it it's, it's honestly insane. Um, it, it's so silly. But yeah, just, just to think about like, oh yeah, that one character from Ant-Man 2, the villain, is, is better than Thanos in this game. Better than Phoenix, you know? Better than the God of Thunder. She's better. Like, it's so insane how many abilities Ghost has, man. And I honestly love it. So, yeah, she is by far undisputed the best tech champ in the game. Uh, I don't think anyone's going to argue with me on that one. Um, but, yeah, the rest of the list, if you disagree, go ahead let me know. Uh, and, yeah, Stark Spidey, definitely an honorable mention. It pains me to not be able to put this guy in top five. Because, I, like I said, I wouldn't be here today without him. I wouldn't be making video YouTube videos today without him. He changed my life honestly it's crazy like i've always loved spider-man ever since i was a little kid i actually wanted to legally change my name to spider-man when i was a kid uh, and so it, it's 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 honestly like so cool that he this character is what propelled my account so much and helped me win comic con and that propelled my account further even more it's awesome so yeah big shout out to stark spider-man and spider-man in general but uh yeah that's gonna do it for this video the top five best tech champions in MCOC. Let me know what you guys think. Do you agree? Do you disagree? And what do you think of Ghost? Do you think she's OP? Do you think she should be nerfed? I'm not saying she should be nerfed. I'm just saying she's pretty OP. That's going to do it though. If you did enjoy, I would appreciate you dropping a thumbs up. It really helps me and the channel out. I'm trying to be more active on YouTube again. Get thing, get the train moving once more. But that's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy. Peace out.